think, Randy, you know, and I said this probably every step of the way as we built our program is if we if we really had worried about what anybody else thought about our program, we would have never gotten Iowa State football off the ground. And, and I, I really mean this. I, I, I think we have such high expectations in our walls. And whether we reach our full potential or we don't reach our full potential, the demand for excellence that our kids have for themselves, we have, I have for myself and our coaches, to me, it's never really been a concern of what the outside world has, has has said about us now along the way we've dealt with those expectations mm-hmm. and not having those right. expectations and you'd be foolish to say that you don't feel those you don't understand what that feels like but you know to me I, I I love when we are a young team and I think part of one of the things I love about young football teams is you can just see the growth by day and that's one of the things even last year as disappointing as some of those games were you saw just great growth happening and, you know, I think you've seen that immensely this off season. So, you know, we are a program that is going to have to constantly rebuild itself. And, you know, I, I, I know that and, and watching our football team do that is rewarding to me and, and watching who emerges as leaders to lead that. You've talked about, about this team having to win in the margins. Mm-hmm. You haven't been able to do that consistently. What's how can that change this year? Yeah, well, you, you know, when we've won and we've had success, we've won in the margins. Mm-hmm. And I think you can, man, you look at 18, 19, 20, 21, you, you saw the bulk load of times we're doing that. I think when we haven't reached our full potential, we've lost. It's It's been in those margins. And I, I think, you know, what you have to do, and, and I think what, re- what last year reinforced to us was, you know, no matter what you think, the, the reality, taking care of the football, being great on third down, getting off the field on third down, you know, being an elite team in the red zone, playing great red zone defense, um, running the football, stopping the run. Those things are still the pedigree of successful football teams. You know, um, man, take winning in the margins in the special teams game, all those things matter. And, you know, it doesn't matter if it was 2000, it doesn't matter if it was 2021 or 2022. It didn't matter if we had the best players or a really young team. It comes down to the fourth quarter. It comes down to usually the last two possessions of the game. And when we've been our best, we've won the margins and we've won the football games. And so I think that's what I mean. And we, we know how to do it, um, but making sure that we're mature enough and we're disciplined enough, both as coaches and players, to be able to do it, that's, that's the key to our success.